Three days left. <laughs> hey guys, it's Bro You Wack, and we we got a very very special unboxing. You might see that I'm in my diva attire, and that's because we're going to be unboxing a diva chair. This is it. Like, th th this is the chair. So anyway, guys, make sure you like. No, we're actually going to be unboxing the diva chair. It came in this this very big box. Like, look at this thing for size. Like, I could sleep here if I was poor enough, which I am, because this thing costs four hundred and fifty. So, two things I want to mention before I get deeper in the video. One, this is not a sponsored video, and the way I'm going to show this isn't a sponsored video. I'm gonna cover up all branding in this video. I'm not gonna ruin my integrity if the company's not gonna ruin their integrity with me. Because no company would want to sponsor me unless they're willing to be embarrassed by me. Bro. And the second thing that I want to say, just so that nobody comments, oh, why would you spend $450 on a gaming chair? Because I have no one else to spend $450 on, alright? My girlfriend left me, my dog gets presents from everybody else. Just want love. Like, is that so hard? Like, why? Okay. Uh, God dang it, there's literally branding everywhere! There, yeah, that's that's covered. Awesome. Ah. In case y'all can't read basic English or you don't read English, which that just makes me sound arrogant. This says, do not touch backseat for the- I don't care what this says. God, wait, ah! I'm gonna turn this around. We're getting the whole unboxing experience, all right? Congratulations, you know- God dang it, there's branding! This is so unnecessary, but your boy wants the bag. Or just someone to love me. That's literally all. You were just steps away from your ult- But- I, I'd be sitting. How could I be stepping away? Let's just open this. Nobody cares. Here we have the instruction manual that's probably branded. And then, boys and girls, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh! oh, oh, oh look at this! Look at how beautiful it is! God, there's branded! Here we go. Problem solved. So, as you guys can probably not see, because this thing is ginormous, this is the back of the Diva gaming chair. I do gotta assemble this, but just look at how beautiful this thing is. This isn't just printed on pictures. This is actually stitched on logos with the Diva Bunny, the APM, the other logos, and the Mecca. Like, this thing is a real Diva gaming chair, right? Like, Diva actually sat in this. I'd like to assume so, because I paid 400 and When you pay that much, you better get gamer girl farts in a bottle with this package. Oh boy. See, my biggest issue is not paying $450. My issue is paying $450 thinking I want other people to pay $450 because they don't have a girlfriend to spend money on and I don't get anything in return. Not only do I get called out for, but I ain't got no money because I spent it all on the freaking chair. God dang it! So every gaming chair needs like a neck or a rest or a, a, a butt pillow. It's something to lay your head to rest when your competitive team does not know how to play the video game. This thing was really heavy by the way. 68 pounds. How the heck do I open this? Ah! If I don't get e-girls with this chair, I'm gonna be thoroughly upset. How the heck are you supposed to unbox this? Oh! I think this is the bottom of the chair where Diva actually sat on and gave us her gamer girl farts on. God, this is what makes it so heavy. Okay, uh, let's just kind of scoot you on back there. Okay. God dang it, this brand! This is probably the worst unboxing. I'm doing more talking than unboxing, but the unboxing experience is not for the unboxing experience itself. It's to complain about you spending money, or at least that's how I want it to be. The unbox therapy isn't named unbox therapy for no reason. He wants to talk about his problems while he opens boxes. You know, sometimes I really wish I had someone else to film me. One, because I wouldn't be so alone. And two, this whole unboxing would probably be a lot just better, but uh, this is the worst unboxing ever. Uh, ah! oh, and that's just the plastic, yo. Knowing me and the way that I handle this, it's probably gonna end up me hurting myself because I'm not reading any instructions, ignoring all warning labels. Right, what don't I want to do? We also got more goodies in here. We got this thing. Uh, <laughs> I... I... I guess. But the last thing in the box is, is another box. There's another box. I couldn't afford to get you anything this year, so I got you this box. Accessory Box XL. 
They call me fat or something? Oh, that's that's kind of cute. Look at the presentation! It's like a freaking ammunition box. But instead of guns, it has something else that's gonna kill me a lot faster. We got our Healy Wheelies. We had side covers. Yeah, this definitely looks like an ammunition box. Look at this, dude. We got screws, because I'm getting screwed here. What looks like to be little golf clubs that you can just chip onto the green with. And we got... Well, we got this is a good thing that it's not a sponsored video because this straight up looks like a dill And that's about it from the box But the best part about this unboxing is not the diva gaming chair It's the fact that we get a box of the gaming chair. This alone is worth the $450 and we just give it a little smack It's a good thing. I'm not sponsored by this video dude because they'd be annoyed just like how everyone else I'm guessing we put this uh, This very inappropriate thing somewhere next in the hole is that it? Is that literally it? I don't know if this is where it goes in. I've heard that once or twice in my life. I have to stop. This was not left with instructions or anything of the sort. Ah! It came on one of these big little pieces of thingy. Insert the hydraulic piston. This isn't a piston, boy. This is a pi Slide the hydraulic sleeve over the position. Let me tell you, this isn't a hydraulic sleeve. This is a straight up condom. Wait, is that it? And then I think we take the back seat Part, and then we attach these to the bottom seat. Oh my god, I have no room for this! Uh, I really wish I had a second person to just help me now, not even to love me. I don't care about that anymore. Y'all thought this was just gonna be an unboxing? Nah. Oh, the screws are already in here! Why the heck do I have more screws then? Well, I just lost a washer. If you don't think I'm a man because I'm struggling building this chair, just realize I'm building an all pink Diva gaming chair. I don't think I'm a man to begin with. The screws are on. Now we have to attach these side panel thingies. And there's the second one. And then we gotta attach this big ginormous thing. Yeah, this thing weighs like 15 pounds alone onto the bottom of this. Which side goes to the front? No, we're just gonna go like this, F it. Uh oh. Boys, I put it on backwards. First part is, this is the hardest part to take off. I'll be right back after I put this on the right way. Much later. Alright, I think we finally got it. <laughs> Alright, now the only thing left to do is I think finally put this gigantic thing on this gigantic thing, then fit this non-gigantic thing in this gigantic thing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the $450 Diva Gaming Chair, and it was made for one thing and one thing only. And now, it's finally time to try it out. I mean, it's a chair. There's special features, like you already saw the back seat can go like that. It can also go like that for whatever reason. But if you want to be a normal person, you would do this and cry. There's also these handles which just press a button and they can slide like in and out. They can also like swivel inside and out, still go in and out. And yeah, 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 that's 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 the thing. There's also a, a lumbar adjustment. I don't really know what that that's supposed to do. And then the levers at the bottom. Can adjust the height, so in case you want to appear like you're 6'4", you just kind of lift that thing up and, and, and there we go, we're 6'4 now. Health thing, what is this? I'm kind of confused what- Stop it! Oh, I can like tilt it very slightly. There's also other things on the bottom that it says. Like it says not to sit at the front edge of the chair or to really like stand on the chair. Also not to like push or get flung by like a friend or something, but that requires friends. And then it shows a very crude image of two people I'm gonna keep a PG, having said, and then it shows an episode of Saw. That looks like the Diva gaming chair, but we need to test this out more than just like sitting. So, can this be used to play Overwatch? Yep. Can this be used to watch TV? It's like, heavy. <laughs> yep. And more importantly, can this be used to hold my very cute and adorable looking dog? <laughs> yep. Can it make you play better at Overwatch? Nope. But most importantly, 
Can it get you laid? Nope. But anyway, guys, that is my $450 gaming chair. Again, if you couldn't tell by the blocking up branding, this is not a sponsored video. Is it cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is it $450 cool? Well, by the fact that I could probably build a gaming chair out of $450 $1 bills, I guess this is kind of worth it. When I'm waiting for my DPS cues, I can just do this over and over and over. And, and then when I'm super bored, I can just do this. I think this alone is worth it. But anyway, guys, that is my Diva gaming chair. If you're genuinely wondering why I spent that much on a chair, Overwatch is my life. And the thing is, though, my job requires me to sit. I'm an Overwatch gaming channel, so why not get an Overwatch gaming chair? You know what I mean? <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And bye.